So, what actually happened in the 1990s? Well, let's take it back a little. In 1918, the Belgians invaded Rwanda. They separated them into two groups. The population of Rwanda was Hudu, approximately 85%, Tutsi, 14%, and Twa, only 1%. Tutsis, who were only 14%, were the most favored by the Belgians because of their tall positions and long necks, so they pretty much looked like proper humans. The Tutsis were left with all of the power, which means that the Hoodoos hated the Tutsis for that. On April 6, 1994, a plane carrying the president Habyarimana, which was a Hoodoo, was shot down. The Hoodoos blamed the tragedy on the Tutsis and signaled all the Hoodoos to start killing the Tutsis. Their code was, cut down the tall trees. Violence began nearly after the crash happened. Hoodoos' goal was to kill the entire Tutsi civil population. This was happening, the UN soldiers were just watching and standing by as the slaughter happened. They were forbidden to interfere with any of the killings since they were the peacekeepers of the country. As all of this continues, the UN agrees to send 8,600 troops to Kigali to protect the citizens, but they were still arguing about the price and who will pay for all of the weapons and transport. The troops have a long delay and there is still no protection until the 22nd of June where the French forces from southwest Rwanda come to help the Tutsis. The UN troops finally come in July to take the French forces place, but they're being massacred by the Hoodoos as well. More people are being killed at their homes, refugee camps, and even on the streets. They were mostly targeting the children because they were the new generation of the Tutsis. Most of the Tutsi women were being raped and used in sex slavery. Months later, the UN called off their people while the slaughter was still happening. Finally, Tutsi rebels that were called the Rwandan Patriotic Front managed to stop the genocide. As you can see, the UN did not do anything to stop the genocide from happening. Even other people from all around the world who were watching this happen in the news did not do anything. In the end, approximately 800,000 to 1 million of Tutsis were killed in the massacre and the Hoodoo leaders that caused this are still being searched for. There was a lot of radio involvement in this massacre. The radios and everybody else started calling Tutsis cockroaches and that they should all step on them and kill them. Here is an example of the radio. Listen to me, good people of Rwanda. Terrible news. It is true. Horrible news. Our great president is murdered by the Tutsi cockroaches. <laughs> they tricked him to sign their phony peace agreement. Then they shot his plane from the sky. It is time to clear the brush, good Hutus of Rwanda. We must cut the tall trees. Cut the tall trees now! Thank you for watching and listening.